It's time now for some more light bill mats with Teacher K. This month I tackled some of the hard questions that makes your light bill seem really complicated. I hope my previous videos on foreign exchange adjustment and GCT cleared up some of that confusion. Now when you read your light bill, you know exactly what each line means. So today I want to show you how you can predict what your next light bill may be. Let's talk about estimated bills. Now, what is an estimated bill? Well, as the name suggests, it's a light bill that estimates the amount of energy you would have used that month based on your usage from previous months. Pop quiz, which student remembers what energy means and how it's calculated? Right, so energy is power used over a period of time. In the case of your light bill, power is measured in kilowatts and time is measured in hours. That's how we get kilowatt per hour or kilowatt hours, KWH. I see we have a couple bright students in class. All right, so to find out your kilowatt hours or energy usage for the month, we need some information from your meter. Class, please take out your last light bill. You'll see a section that looks like this. Now, if it says actual in the reading type, then that means that a meter reader was able to read your meter and get the accurate energy usage. This is the information that the meter reader takes from your meter to calculate all the other line items on your bill. To know what your energy usage is for the month, subtract this month's meter reading from last month's readings. And this customer used 195.85 kilowatt hours. Now, in some cases, a meter reader is not able to get the reading that they need to calculate your bill. Maybe it was difficult to reach your meter, like if you have unrestrained dogs, the meter reader may not be able to access it due to safety risks. Or if your meter is located inside your house, then the meter reader will not be able to take a reading unless you're at home, obviously. In those cases where the meter reader can't get to your meter, then on your light bill in the reading type section, you will see estimated. That means that the energy usage for the month is not the actual reading from the meter, but you guessed it, an estimate. Now you may have your own reasons for wanting to estimate your own bill. Maybe if you're planning your budget for the next month, you might wanna get a sense of what your next bill is likely to be. So just like JPS, you can do your own estimated bill. And here's how you do it. So to calculate the estimate, you'll need your last three light bills. Look at your energy usage for the previous three months. So for this customer, say their energy readings for the past three months were 150 kilowatt hours, 210 kilowatt hours, and 185 kilowatt hours. Then to calculate the estimate for this bill would be 150 plus 210 plus 185 divided by 3. The estimated energy usage for that bill would then be 181.67 kilowatt hours. And then you have to add all the other components we spoke about in the previous episodes, GCT, foreign exchange adjustment, and next week we'll also talk about the fuel and IPP charge. Now you may be saying, well, what about those smart meters that everyone's always talking about? You're right to ask that question because smart meters are the wave of the future. Smart meters eliminate the need for estimated bills. They replace the old style meters, which means that there's no need for a meter reader to visit your property anymore. JPS began rolling out smart meters in 2016 with the aim to have at least half of the population covered by smart meters by this year, 2020. So if you're a customer with a smart meter, wave Bye-bye to estimated bills. That's the end of our lesson for today, but stay tuned. We have some more financial news coming up on Taking Stock.